Welcome to Wing Tech Corner. Today we're going to create an M3 mount um, component in the Eagle Library. Um, I've created a blank uh, Eagle Library here and we're going to create a brand new footprint. Um, and we're going to call it uh, M3 hole. Or hole, yeah, hole. So, like, what we're going to do is create a drill hole, but before we do that, we're going to set our grid to millimeters, and we'll go with one millimeter. This will give us a pretty good um, sizing. Let's zoom in a little bit. Now, the hole tool will let us um, tell Eagle to create a hole for us and we'll tell it to drill a 3.2 millimeter hole since that will work well for uh, M3 screws. And next what we're going to do is add in additional um, layer information to tell Eagle that uh, when it's routing not to place parts or um, traces um, around the hole. Um, this gives us some isolation. So the first thing we're going to do is um, the stop. And what this does is um, it tells Eagle and it tells the fabs to not put any um, resist over this area. It basically will give us a nice um, bare surface. We're also going to set the line width to zero since um, that will keep the dimensions accurate. Uh, we're going to change the grid um, to three millimeters. That way we create a circle that gives us some decent spacing and it's going to match up well to three or five millimeter uh, inset from edges. We're going to do the bottom stop as well since this is going to be good for double sided boards. We're also going to do keep outs. Um, both for the top and bottom. We're just layering this on like pancakes. Same thing for the restrict. Oh, too big. Alright. And then also for the vias. Uh, we don't want Eagle to add any vias to the routing. Um, nope, seems like we've got everything covered and just have to save the part all right there we have it we have an m3 hole footprint and it's got some basic information in it so that when you do automated routing or pours it will keep the uh, coppers out so what we're going to do now is test it out I guess I need to open this project before I can do anything else. Let's start with a blank board. And uh, we're just going to create a quick board here. Um, so first thing we're going to do in order to use the part is we're going to have to add a library. So you can see it doesn't show up. So let's open the library manager and then we'll go to the available boards and it's probably not listed so we'll add it in there it is and then now we'll need to select it and tell eagle pcb to actually use this new library oh there it is all right great and so now we should be able to use it and if we do a search for the M3 part again, it should show up. And there it is, M3 hole. Great. And we'll just drop one down there. Yep. Nice. All right. So back to the grid. Go to millimeters. And uh, no, let's not do 100. Let's do 50 millimeters. show us the line so that we actually know what we're doing. Um, I'm not going to bother changing the width of the line to zero here since we're not actually designing for production. I'm just doing this to be to illustrate. 
it's much easier to see if the line width isn't zero. So we see here we have a 50 by 50 millimeter uh, square board. Um, try to see if I can duplicate it and place it. I'm not sure if this is going to work. It's probably going to be misaligned. Yeah, it's it's misaligned. All right. So we're going to add the part again, and boom. Nicely centered, uh, inset five millimeters from the edge, and since we have a three millimeter radius um, safe zone, it it's you know nice and clear. Um, if you put an inset of three millimeters, it will touch the edge, um, and that would actually go right along with a rounded corner board. And but there you have it. Um, pretty straightforward. Uh, please click subscribe if you want to see more. Um, I also like hearing back from people if you've got any ideas of what you would like me to cover. But uh, yeah, subscribe and I look forward to hearing from you. Thank you for watching.